Hey guys, my name is Benjamin Meeks, also known as Garden Guy, and I am on a huge, epic, awesome adventure here in Zimbabwe. I got here about five days ago, and it has been an absolute blast. It's so, so fun, so uh, impactful as far as meeting people and, and getting to hear their stories, and um, wow, I've already experienced so much, and I'm going to be here for three months, so I want to do one thing with this video. I want to invite you on a journey, uh, my journey, to, to of just discovering, discovering stories of, of the people that I'm going to be spending time with, but also discovering um, uh, farming practices that are applicable in a small space, whether you have a pot or a small outdoor garden, or if you have uh, a, bigger, a bigger garden, or even if you're a farmer. Um, yeah, so what they're doing here, this is Foundations for Farming. So they started here in, uh, in Zimbabwe. Um, basically, the, the, um, the person who started it was Mr. Brian Old Reeve. And he, he was a f uh, farmer, a tobacco farmer. And uh, God convicted him of that and, and, and just showed him that he was, he was not growing good stuff. He wanted to grow food instead. Um, to support people who are, I mean, there's a lot of hunger, starvation issues all across the world, um, but also here in Zimbabwe. So he he dropped the tobacco farming and decided to go towards food um, farming. And uh, first, first little bit of his uh, farming was terrible. He didn't really make much money. He was actually not, the farm was, was um, collapsing. And I'll tell you more about that story. A little later but um, long story short he asked God how do I farm how, what would you have me do um, to to you know make, make things grow like they do in nature and nature has such bounty such such like wow you go out into the woods or here they call it the bush you go out there and you see so much like, growth so much green and so much um, just life so he asked God what, what are you doing in nature went out to the bush and he saw there's no deep tillage, there's no deep inversion of the soil layers. And he saw that there is a, a blanket, there's a covering of, of um, using the forest, it's leaves, or in the fields, it's um, grass from the previous season. So he saw that these things, and, and there, were, there were other things that, that um, kept on uh, noticing. Um, so he, he, he was just, okay, I, I'm gonna have to start this, I'm gonna start it small. Um, because by the time he had he had got asked God these things, he was already doing a big farming pro, uh, farming um, uh, project, or you know he had a big farm. So he um, he started with two hectares, two hectares, and the general yield for maize for two hectares was uh, one ton per hectare. But at the end of that year, just be trying to be faithful, do a high standard with the um, the two hectares and, and have a blanket of, of mulch and having a, no deep inversion of the soil layers, he got 10 tons per hectare, uh, 10 times the average yield um, in Zimbabwe. So, wow, it's crazy. Instant, instant uh, success with that. And from there, the journey and the story has continued up till this point where they bring people here. I'll, I'll show you guys all of the, the land here. It's actually absolutely beautiful, incredible. What they're doing here um, so that's a little snippet of what I've been learning and seeing and I want you guys to come and join me in this adventure because it really is an adventure it's it's uh, it's discovering the story well it's a story of of foundations for farming but also each each person's individual story there's people coming here and learning there's there's trainers who have crazy um, stories backgrounds and and I just, I just wanted to document that. Um, so, if you want to come with me, then come on. Here we go. And I'm going to be posting videos. Um, looks like two or three a week. If, we'll see if that's possible because it's kind of tough. But I, I look forward to that. And I want to. And I, I want so I want you to take away two things. The stories. Stories are always fun. Um, but the last thing is, and I would say the most important is practical um, knowledge for you and for your family or for your relatives. 
and how to, or friends, how to use the soil that you have available to you, whether that's a small pot in your house or, or, or you know, a little garden plot or whatever it is, use that space to grow bountiful food, whether that's herbs or, or tomato, you know, some tomatoes or whatever it is. These principles um, carry over across continents, across um, the soil types, across really, really anything. Because basically, we're 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 learning about what makes things grow beautifully, fruitfully, and uh, abundantly, but also in a practical way, so in a way that we can um, implement without too much hassle. So that in a in a and a uh, snippet is all that I'm going to be doing. Uh, sorry it went so long, but just wanted to share with you guys my heart and my excitement for this uh, journey that I'm on. And it would be an honor and a privilege for you to come on with me and um, just see where it goes. So uh, thanks so much for listening to all this, and I really look forward to all the future videos, future stories, future lessons that we learn. And uh, yeah, it's going to be good. God bless, guys. See you the next time.